So some of you have asked about ChatGPT and the strawberry meme. And it's actually really simple. Somebody goes into a tool like ChatGPT or an L another LLM that's uh, basically a generative AI, and they ask how many R's are in the word strawberry. Well, the problem with this is that you're actually asking the AI a trick question. And so when you do the, the actual, uh, actual word strawberry, uh, that actually is not what you think it is. You see, to an AI, it's actually going to be either a numerical value or it's going to be multiple numerical values, okay? So it's either going to be one token, which is going to be a number, or it's going to be a tuple, and uh, that is actually kind of a big deal. You see, in this particular case, what's happening is you are actually dealing with the fact that uh, because it's a different representation, the AI doesn't actually have access to the text. You see, the AI is actually doing the same thing we do. It's translating the language that we use into an internal representation that it then uses to try to figure things out. So what's really happening here is you're taking the word strawberry, giving that's being converted to a number, and then the LLM, the AI, whatever you want to call it, is actively going out of its way to then say, okay, well, I'm going to think on these numbers. And so at that point, it takes all the bounded context for the what, it, what is a strawberry, and it thinks about it. Now, I'm obviously using human terms here, but the big issue is that when it says to itself, hey, how many R's are in the word strawberry? It's literally just thinking inside its own head and listening to the word because that's part of the context that it's been given. It's been given pronunciation rules because remember, a lot of these tools have voice characteristics. And they have the ability to speak it. And so just like a real human, you have the capability to then have that bounded context go, oh, well, here's everything I know about the word strawberry. I'm being asked R's, so let's think about the linguistic context. And boom, at that point, it goes, well, I say the word strawberry, and I just, I just counted two R's when I said it in my head. And that is why it tells you two R's. Because it's not going to sit there and say, oh, well, there's actually... Three. Because I can't hear these two. It only thinks of them as one. Think about the think about how you hear it from a word perspective. Think about the wave function that you create with your mouth when you say the word strawberry. Okay? And so we are obsessing over the word strawberry, but it's actually thinking in numbers. That is why. It's a trick question. That's why it's so popular. 